Scorpio. It's Robin. Hi. How are y'all? Hey. Man, I... <laughs> you guys are the bomb fucking bomb.com right now. I love you so much. I'm here to bring a November reading for you guys. Mid-month to this till December. Okay. And so what, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start with the mindset. The over... Uh, what is the word I want to look for? The thought process that is most prominent, the, the mindset of, over the Scorpio energy in general, that is most present between the mid-month November, which is a few days from now, and till December. And so let's take a peek. Let's look at the mind. What's going on? These are by Cyril Marchetti. They are fabulous. Oracle of Visions is... Oh, the artwork is so phenomenal. All right, one more for my Scorpios. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome back, subscribers. Thank you. I need you to know something, though. YouTube is jacking everything up. It's very, very, very prevalent. And if you have already subscribed to me, you know, I have almost 23,000 subscribers, and only a couple hundred of you are seeing my videos. That's got to change. Hit unsubscribe, hit the subscription, and hit that bell again. And when you do, hit notifications all, because you're never going to see what I put out. And um, it's weird. I mean, why subscribe if you can't see what I'm putting out, right? So here we go. I'm for you. Cross watchers are welcome. This is general. Do not worry if it doesn't apply. Some of this is going to really touch you, though. Love you. Here goes. All right, what do you want these Scorpios to know? What is the dealio? Oh, what's this? Oh. Oh, well, looks like uh, somebody's been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting just a little too long. Somebody waited long too long and something is... It was trying to reach you. And you dawdled too long on something. The time might have passed. Let's see what the book says about this because I'm so imperfect. I'm perfectly perfect. Imperfect. All right, here we go. Messages, deadlines, and anticipation. Cameron Mannheim says, Waiting, waiting, waiting. All my life. I've been waiting for my life to begin. As if somehow my life was ahead of me. And that someday I would arrive at it. Waiting for a message to arrive can bring anxiety, fear, hope, good news or bad news, exception or rejection. A ticking clock counts down the time remaining. A young woman has been waiting anxiously and the sleeping dog suggests she has done so for some time. The phone is silent. The bouquet of roses suggests a previous response was received, but from whom? The same sender or someone else? Either way, the anticipated answer finally arrives with the dove, the bird. But now, by, but by now the clock indicates that the hour has passed. Just in time or too late? The process of waiting for a response isn't merely one of passing the time patiently. The immediacy or tardiness of the response may also provide some insight beyond the message itself. A deadline imposed may be tied to a condition or an ultimatum. Is there flexibility or has the opportunity been lost? That's the thought processing going on for Scorpio at this time. Interesting. And you know, I totally get it. I totally relate. I do. All right, here we go, Scorpio. I'm going to take a look at the Gilded Reverie and see the Lenormans and look and see if we can expound on that waiting, 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 waiting. What's up with this message? What is the energy? Spirit Guides, 
send love and healing to the Scorpios. Send them their angels to give them power, the power beyond their own expectation, wisdom, guidance, and direct uh, confidence to make decisions. Send them support and help. Uh, Holy Spirit, thank you so much for the the Scorpios that I do know. I just met another one yes yesterday that is beautiful. She might be helping me with my business. So if you are hearing this, my beautiful, and you know who you are, I will say silver, silver pyramid, you know what, what I mean. And this is, uh, well, God, I don't know if you're waiting to hear from a twin flame or if you're waiting to hear if somebody's changed their mood, if someone's cut out of something that they did. Um, that is a number I associate with twin flame energy. Um, it is about, this is a birch broom, and what this means is, Someone has to cut something. They have to control their temper. Someone's trying to over-control or control their temper or control circumstances somehow. Um, and again, you have like the reference of the, the compasses. You just want to be certain. You want to be certain. The sun is in the middle of this dial. Some of you may actually... Be waiting on a job offer in a distant place or a new offer or a suggestion for something coming up and you're making sure it's the exact right thing. You're just going to kind of like, well, I'm not going to do too much about it because there isn't much I can do about it. Until I get my answer, I can't do anything. Um, here it comes. This is your answer. And Scorpio, this is a good answer, okay? Communications arriving. You may have many offers on the table, many things that you could do. You are very, very productive. Do not stop what you're doing. Continue to do it because you're being very, very attractive at this time. This is uh, beautiful. And the number seven suggests that it's in God's timing. What else? Travel. Moving away. Getting things done. Now this could be the end of a relationship and you're moving on. This could be a commitment to move elsewhere. Obviously, this ship, this airborne ship, is going over mountains. You guys have flown like eagles. Oh, man, you hit your phoenix stage a long time ago. You guys are friggin' eagles now. You're just soaring over everything and, and making this ultimate decision for yourself. Master Builder number, um, you have master numbers here, 11 and 22. You are making a life choice, and it is ascension. It is one of your decisions. They are both good decisions. You have good options. You decide how you want to feel at the end of this rainbow. Right? Up to you, my babies. I'm using my beautiful prismatic tarot cards to read for you. To clarify some of this and see what love has for you, okay? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If I didn't say so, cross watchers are welcome. Thank you, my Laurel subscribers. Thank you, thank you. Like I said, make sure that you hit that notification bell again because anytime YouTube changes anything, we're screwed. I mean, I lose you. I feel like I don't have connection to you. All right, here goes. So, woo, what are y'all doing? Well, this one wanted to come out. Hangman. Libra got the hangman, too. Just hanging around. This is becoming enlightened. This is being absolutely certain of your choice. That's why. Now, hopefully you're not just, you know, like, whatever, you know, and not making any movement for yourself, because that's crazy. Um... But then again, I don't think so because, Scorpio, you guys are pretty sharp. Got a lot of projects going on. You might be working too damn friggin' hard, though. It's another thing I see. I know I am way too hard. Um, I don't call this work. This is play. This is spiritual play for you. It's not work. It's love. All right, so send you love and healing for yourselves and grounding for yourselves and Common sense. Share with me, Spirit, Universe, Guides, Holy Spirit, Divine White Light, Energies, Angels, 
positive thoughts. Um, all divine energies for Scorpio explain. Lovers, I'm not taking it in reverse. Whatever it is, it's about a lover, and it's possibly another water sign. I will take it in reverse. It came out that way. So, my bad. I make mistakes. Here we go. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, in reverse. This is what you are gauging and watching and learning from. Okay? It is. A, it can be disappointment. It can be ending a soulmate relationship. Uh, maybe you heard something through the grapevine. You got pissed off. You said, F that, I'm out, I'm out, I got another path to take. First, I need to figure out where it is. What is going on with that one? I'll pull, um, which is tarot to clarify, okay, guys? What else is going on in the love lives of Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? You know how these things do. It could be the other person, or it could be you, or it could be somebody around you going through some of this. You know, really. Make sure you're checking all of your chart. Here we go. Somebody's not feeling their perky best. Or someone's soulmate is a Virgo. And they're not feeling really... We have an earth sign here. It's in reverse next to the water sign. And I see possibly a Scorpio with an earth sign that isn't doing well financially. Um, I don't understand why that's happening. Um, we also have the Hierophant. There's religious influence here. There is... Uh, it's possibly that some of you have ended a marriage or started a new process of working with religion, your faith, um, somebody who is a Taurus. Um, it's hard to say exactly what the heck that is. Please show me, Spirit and Universe, what else is going on here. Taurus is at your doorstep. Let's just say that. I have Leo also showing up. This is a healing card, though, for you. This is, uh, I always thought that this is purification and healing. This is uh, almost like rebirth for you. This is rebirth energy. You claim it. You see the sun. You see the enlightenment around this guy's head. He's got a glow around his head. He's becoming wise. He's getting a little bit of that. In spite of the fact that there's difficulties somewhere. In spite of the fact that there's difficulties somewhere. Scorpio. What else is showing up, please? Wow, shit. I can't take those. Let me give him another shot. Boy, this card stock is so crappy. But I don't care. Here we go. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is the message for them, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, November 15th to the 30th. What else? What else do you see for that, please? Show it to me. Show me. Show me for the Scorpio, please. Oh, this one wants to come out. There you go. There you go, holding your own, Scorpio. You are the fascizo. You're the soft, kind, gentle, honest, emotional, uh, intuitive, spiritual person. You live from the heart. That's why you deserve to be happy and healthy. And one more, please, for Scorpio. Hmm. Why are you showing up for yourself? I mean, seriously. You could be attracting the, uh, the mercy and kindness of another water sign, perhaps. Maybe it's the other, maybe it's this two of cups in reverse. Let's see if they come back. One more. Yeah, there they are. There's this water sign coming back to um, make an offer to you. And it is probably a soulmate twin flame um, situation. And the energy here is for you to be, um, decide. 
I mean, you've had plenty of time to decide what to do, whether they're coming back or whether you're making an offer of peace, um, whether you're, maybe it's a new water sign, you know. Somebody's out with the earth sign, though, not doing so good with the earth sign. I don't see any fire here, but I definitely see water and earth. Too much water and earth makes mud, people. And by the way, Scorpio, them, them earth signs take so damn long to decide. They get your nerve up. They're like, well, am I going to sit here and wait for you forever? Scorpio's like, let's get down to business. I'm tired of waiting on you. I got a life. I am about to leave your ass for friggin' good. If you don't come forward with something that I can really work with, right, and it better be compassionate, it better be right. You got to feel me, baby. Right? That's what I hear. Here we go. So, clarifying. Somebody made somebody pretty unhappy and turned the world upside down. Four of Wands is in reverse. This is where twin flame relationship, again, that's why I see this. The only reason I'm saying that is because of this. All these master numbers are here and there's a lot of water here. This is what I see. Something's topsy-turvy and uh, you're dealing with it. It's not quite so much fun. Nope, not quite so much fun. Clarify because of a tower moment, because something happened, and it was like that, and you're like, fuck that, fuck it, fuck it, I'm out, fuck it, I'm out, however, you're the most temperate people, you are the, you're so ancient souls, and you carry within you the wisdom, unlike anybody else, Scorpio, you have the wisdom to know how to heal people, and heal yourself real quick if you don't go cold. If you keep your heart warm and your mind aligned with it, you can fix any of this shit. You know this. I know you know this. Sorry. All right. Let's see what's going on here for um, what happened here. Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Um, just down to many times. Too many arguments, too many lies, too many misrepresentations, too many disappointments caused you to soulmate, can't do it. I can't do this shit with you. I can't. So what happens? You move on with your cup. You're dealing with somebody who's not very well off, or at least they don't feel grounded or good. And they're possibly going into the divine or they're going to start some kind of religious pattern to get themselves out of the rut. Or maybe away from you. I have no idea. Let's see. Yeah. Hierophant. So somebody goes to the church to get help. Somebody goes to the church or someone in, in kind of an authoritative situation uh, to get help. So divine reciprocity comes and they give you what you need. It makes you feel well and you are, you are safe. You're safe in the arms of love with enough to support you. How very nice. Okay? And here is your gift. The King of Cups. I see. Now some of you are not don't believe in Jesus, but I see Jesus. I see the power of someone who lives, talks, breathes, thinks, and acts with compassion. Is this you? Is this your higher power? Is this your friend? Is this your new lover? I see a divine union, king and queen of cups, and I see healing. And I believe with the proper reciprocity and the proper spiritual faith and the proper commitment to solve things and fix things, you too, can ascend together. So you go your way, they go that way, but you're going the same way, but you're going about it differently with different results, but you will meet in the end, see you, and the promised land is what I hear. And on the bottom of the deck, it's a decision, a decision, a decision. So it's weighing things out in the balance. 
It's maybe having an extra chore or two to survive, to take care of yourself. You feel like you're working really hard, and indeed you are. Love you. Romance Angels, let's talk to Scorpio. Like, subscribe, and share again. I'm saying it over and over in my readings because I want you to be informed. Be well. Be well informed. Okay, here we go. Scorpio. Hi, you're going to like this. It is safe for you guys to love again. Good God. Once you pass the tower moment, and you've allowed yourself to go through healing processes, and you're getting reciprocation and kindness again, kindness and healing have shown up, of course. Now you're ready. Okay? You know, you'll know when you're ready. Okay? What else, please? And very, very soon. Love's at your door, you guys. If you wait, I don't know why. I just heard the song Slip Sliding Away by Paul, uh, Paul Simon. The more you're near your destination, the more you slip sliding away. We're in Mercury retrograde. Don't do anything stupid. If they didn't treat you well in the past, what makes you think they're going to treat you well in the future? However you figure out how to create this karmic balance with this twin flame soulmate that you didn't get along with, consider it. But consider it um, in a very spiritually healthy, strong, powerful way. You're not going right back to that because God took it away from you so that you could heal. I'm being strict. Guess what, babies? A new soulmate's on the way. A brand new one. You have love coming on the way. That might be this message. Just when you're about to give up, your love shows up. At your reading. If you'd like a reading, they're, they're 3333 for a love reading. Um, that's my lowest price, and it's a special offer till the end of the year. After that, I'm going back up again to my regular price. So you'll find on my website. All my information's below if you'd like to talk to me. If you've had readings from me and donated to my channel before, Oh my God, I love you. Thank you so much. I hope you do well. Blessings, my beautiful Scorpios. Namaste, guys. Bye.